my name is Tom Santee. Welcome to SEBA's 3 o'clock hour class on commercial property management. Before I start, uh, I got to do the business of housekeeping, so uh, let me read this for you. This class will be three hours long, and the benefit of an online course is that you can stop and start whenever you like. You may take the course in your spare time and in between appointments after you put the kids to bed or whatever works for you. After completing the course in its entirely and successfully answering the quiz questions, and I hope I teach you well enough that you'll be able to answer the quiz questions, you will earn three continuing education clock hours. Thanks again for joining me today. Let's get started. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I retired from the business a year and a half ago after 50 years. Yeah, I'm old. I can't help it, but uh, I, I think it was a wonderful career. And for those that are just getting into it, you can't get into a better career. Great people and, and lucrative. Uh, see, I got out of the Navy after four years, four months, and 13 days in Oak Harbor. And so I ended up going to Western Washington University. Uh, I spent three years there uh, under the GI Bill and graduated with an English degree. At the same time, I was managing married student housing and other apartments. My boss said, Tom, why are you getting a teaching degree? There's no money in teaching. I go, oh my gosh, yeah, so okay. So I ended up in multifamily development and management for the first 11 years of my career. I ended up in the Bay Area for uh, after seven years in my career for four years. And at that time, the company I worked for made the largest single purchase of real estate in Seattle. They bought 71 buildings. So I transferred up and I transferred into commercial property management. Wow, I thought it would be an easy transition from multifamily to commercial, but it wasn't. The good news is my boss put me into RPA classes with BOMA, two classes every quarter. So I went through and got my RPA in two years. Now RPA we'll talk about in a little while, but that helped a lot and also allowed me to make connections with people in the industry so I could network get questions answered, and that's the beauty of our industry. You can, in that network, if you have a question or you need some help, you can reach out to those folks and get some help. So uh, after a year, a year and a half in commercial property management, my boss left. So I went to the general manager and asked if I could have his position. <laughs> and of course he said, Tom, You've only been in commercial property management a little over a year. It takes five years to become a commercial property manager. And I said, hey, wait a minute. It takes five years to become a brain surgeon. But he's kind of right. It takes a while in this business to really get your arms around the, the multifaceted aspect of it. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to give a 30,000 foot overview of commercial property management. We're going to talk about the evolution of commercial property management, commercial property management as a profession, the types of buildings managed, the business of property management, the role of a property manager, the qualifications of a property manager, the asset manager, and understand it wasn't that long ago property managers loved to put asset manager on their cards, on their business cards instead of property management but there's a distinct difference between property manager and asset manager. They are not the same profession. We'll talk about those differences. The property manager's fiduciary responsibility to the client, the valuation of commercial property and the property manager's impact on that value, the typical day in the life of a commercial property manager, and I can tell you there is no typical day, but we'll kind of get our arms around what might be a typical day and the kind of characteristics a commercial property manager should have.